want to try today to tackle one of the most commonly issued complaints about Singapore mathematics, um, namely, why are there so many word problems? And uh, you may be a student um, who's getting assigned a bunch of word problems and are unhappy with how difficult they are. You may be a teacher um, looking at the curriculum and saying, do I really have to do all these word problems with my student? You may be a parent um, who's just frustrated by a child coming home and not knowing what to do with a word problem um, and, or even really how to help them, right? And I think probably if we, at least as adults, think back to our own education, word problems were some of the most difficult and frustrating things uh, in our own mathematics education. Um, so um, I want to try to say, well, why in this math curriculum that we think is really valuable, why is so much of it centered around the idea of word problems? Um, and I think it, to a certain extent, I sympathize with all of us who um, really do struggle with word problems because I think they are the most challenging part of the elementary mathematics curriculum, right? Um, and let's just explore a little bit why they're so challenging. And this list is not going to be unfamiliar to most of you. Uh, you guys could probably come up with a better list than I can here even. Um, but I think there's a number of things that make word problems very, very difficult, right? First, you know, it's difficult to know even where to start, right? How many of us, when we re read a word problem, get to the end and be like, Okay, I read all those words, but, but where do I start actually doing some of the math here, right? Um, I don't know where to start, right? Second, uh, this idea of the textbook writers always throwing in the extra facts that you don't really need. I've got to eliminate this extraneous information. Why do they do that? Why do they try to trick us? Um, three, right? Just the idea of trying to figure out the correct equation of operation or operation, right? And a lot of times students will, you know, see two numbers in the problem and kind of just say, should we add them, subtract them? Right? And, and just kind of guessing an equation or an operation, right? it's very difficult to go from a word problem to an equation. Right? It's this idea of progressing from the concrete to the abstract here. Right? Um, fourthly, I think determining what the problem is even asking for. Right? What do they want me to actually do here? What do all these words really mean? Um, Five, right? Checking if your answer makes some sense, right? Uh, you get to an answer, you're like, well, I don't know if that's right or wrong, but I got this number. Is this right? And you kind of put it in the blank and, and, and move on. I think, you know, that's difficult as well. And lastly, maybe this should have been first, right? Just the idea that word problems require this reading, this comprehension, this translation um, from one language to another, from the language of words, from the language, this vocal um, language to uh, the language of mathematics, right? Um, and I think, you know, it's no wonder that with a word problem there's so much sources of frustration, right? These are not difficult things to do here, right? Um, and, and they're very, you know, um, they can be kind of paralyzing in a way that other problems can't, right? Uh, I could read the, a word problem and just kind of sit there after I read it and just say, I don't know where to go from here, right? Um, and, and yet, right, in the midst of why these things are frustrating, I want you to take one more look at this list, right? And these are exactly the kind of virtues and the things we want to see in our students. These are the kind of thoughtfulness, these are the kind of thinking that we want them to be able to develop when they encounter not just a math problem, but any kind of a problem in their everyday life, right? Um, any, and this, this could be, you know, from, from kind of a, a, a relational, conversational problem, a physical problem, a mental problem, right? Any one of these problems, right? Um, these are the things they're gonna struggle with, right? These are the things we all struggle with, right? We don't know where to start. We don't know what matters and what doesn't matter, right? We don't know whether we need to put more there or less there or uh, what, how we might model the situation with an operation, right? We don't even know sometimes and in, in, in we encounter a problem what it's asking for, right? We always need to read, comprehend, and translate, right? Uh, and, 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 you know, figuring out whether or not my answer that I arrived at is going to work. These are the skills, these are the life virtues that we want our students to develop, right? And so why so many word problems in Singapore math? I think what happened, what's happened is uh, the writers of the curriculum have realized why math is valuable. Right. Math is valuable not just because it allows us to kind of manipulate some symbols and get some answers here, right? Math is valuable because it teaches us a way of thinking that allows us to engage problems in a dynamic fashion, right? And the best way to work with, to, to, to work with students to develop that kind of thinking is to engage with them in word problems. Now, this isn't easy, right? And so what Singapore Math also does is try to provide the tools to deal with this, right? And you should really watch a few of the videos about bar modeling to get a sense of where uh, 
or, or how Singapore Math equips teachers, students, parents to be able to have the conversations about word problems with their students, right? Um, but if we can take advantage of those tools and really work with work to delve deeply into the word problems, we're going to be developing these kind of skills in students, right? So if you're a student studying the word problems, I can I would exhort you to persevere. If you're a parent who got a packet sent home, don't do the work of translating the word problem into an equation for your kid. Work with your kid to, to engage with all of these difficulties, right? Ask them these kind of questions. Where can you start? Help them, right? Learn something about bar modeling to be able to help them, right? If you're a teacher looking through your curriculum and you see all those word problems, don't shy away from them, right? Engage deeper in them because they're going to be the things that are really gonna produce lasting effects in our students.